everyone and welcome to my little corner in this video i'm gonna be showing you my top five favorite books of all time guys this was so hard to choose to be honest with you because there's so many books that i really like but i did manage to choose my top five favorite books and at the end we'll do some honorable mentions starting with number five is the inheritance games now this is actually my favorite book of the year so far and i absolutely loved it as soon as i started i could not put it down it is such a fast paced book so there's this apparently random girl that in inherits a fortune from a family she has never heard about before of course everyone thinks it must be a mistake the patriarch of the family dies and instead of leaving the fortune to the family and the sons and grandsons he leaves the fortune to this girl that no one heard about but the thing about this family and the man that died is that he loves puzzles and riddles and everything in the house and the mansion that they own is also filled with riddles and puzzles and secret passages it it did kind of remind me of knives out if you ever read or watched the movie um it's really fun it kept me entertained all the way there's also like a lot of drama that you know the family might start getting dangerous what if they try to kill her so that they could get the money and then there's a lot of jealousy and people in denial and there's also a lot of love because then the main character she gets very close to the grandsons the the hawthorne brothers so yeah there's a lot in this book and it's so fun and fast-paced you will absolutely love it and i also want to point out that this is part of a trilogy so this is the first book the second book called the hawthorne legacy it's gonna be out later this year in September or October, I think. In number four is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This book is the most fun book I've ever read in my life. So Olive is the main girl in the story and she goes to her sister's wedding and somehow only her, Olive, and the groom's brother, Ethan, they're the only ones who do not get food poisoning. Everyone else at the wedding gets food poisoning except for Olive and Ethan. And they also are nemesis. And because everyone gets sick, the bride and groom, they're not able to go on their honeymoon to Maui. So now they go to Maui using the bride's and groom's names and they have to pretend to be in love like they just got married this book it is a light read it is laugh out loud funny and something that I really liked about it and it's a big takeaway from it is that it shows you that others perception of you is different than what you think it is number three is the fault in our stars I love this so much I watched the movie so many times already and honestly at this point i think pretty much everyone is familiar with this book if you have not read it maybe you watched the movie if you have not done either you've probably heard of the title like it's really popular so this book major tearjerker um you probably already know the story hazel augustus they meet in like a support group and then they become friends they become very close so Augustus is like so charming and he's funny and he takes Hazel to all these cute little dates and he just brings life to her like he's like her ray of sunshine and then so Hazel has this she's kind of obsessed with this book and this author and Augustus is able to contact the author so that they can find out the ending of her favorite book. So they go to Amsterdam to visit the author and find out the ending of the book. So this, this book is just so heartwarming and it's a tearjerker. So if you like emotional books, if you like crying, I guess, this is perfect for you. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you are familiar with this already. I 
just loved it so much it just pulled all of my heartstrings number two is five feet apart now okay okay maybe i have a type i don't know what to tell you like these stories they make me cry but they're also so beautiful at the same time i'm a hopeless romantic i i just love them so there's will and stella they are both in the hospital they both have cystic fibrosis people who have cystic fibrosis they cannot be closer than six feet apart from each other because otherwise they can catch each other's bacteria and die. So these two characters are pretty much the opposite of each other. Stella, she's organized, she follows the rules, and then Will, he's kind of a rebel and he doesn't really care about anything anymore because all the treatments that he's been through, nothing seems to work. So they end up meeting and they hang out with each other, they fall in love, but then again, they cannot get closer than six feet apart from each other. So how far are they really willing to go for love? It's absolutely beautiful. Like, you, again, if you like sob stories, romantic stories like this, this is what you have to read. And last, but certainly not least, and you obviously already know what's coming up if you watch really almost any of my other videos, but my favorite book of all time is Harry Potter. Major Potter hand over here. Now, I'm not showing you one of the Harry Potter books, it's the whole collection. Some people have asked me, what is your favorite Harry Potter book? And I'm just like, you know, for me, I don't know if this is like for every other Potterhead out there. I don't know if they have a favorite book, but I treat Harry Potter, there are seven books, but I treat them as one story. They are one story divided into seven books. So I don't have a favorite book. For me, I take all the books as one. And it is the story, complete as it is, that makes one big magical fantastic story i think my parents thought that that was a phase when i was in middle school and i first started reading the books and they were probably like this is just a phase well it's not just a phase it's a lifetime uh, obsession i don't think i have to tell you the story i mean everyone knows harry potter it's this hogwarts magical place witches and wizards and magic evil versus good just want to mention these books really quick because they're really good and I think they're also worth mentioning even though they didn't made, make it to the top five. They're also all five star books for me. So I just want to mention them real quick. First one, We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This one, it was an unexpectedly good book for me. I, I don't really know what I was thinking of it going into it, but really good it has the biggest plot twist i've ever seen in a story ever which is what made it like really good uh next up there's everything everything by nicola yoon again there's a plot twist which i always love there's a girl with a condition and then she tries to fight how she's been living so far for love you know and then there's The Sun is also a star, also by Nicola Yoon. Great book. This one is kind of a very beautiful, aesthetic love story. Uh, the main girl in the story is from Jamaica and the guy is from South Korea, which is very refreshing to see, you know, diversity in the books. And then The Midnight Library, want to mention this book, is like my second favorite book of the year so far. There is a library in the afterlife in the middle of life and death so basically when you die before you go to heaven or hell or whatever happens later you there's this library and it's filled with books and every book is a different life or a different version of your life that you could have lived and then you can basically visit any life that you want and you can undo your regrets so very mystical i really enjoyed it uh, and finally, the last honorable mention is Bunko, a comedy about the drama of friendship, but it is so fun. It, you know, it is a comedy, there's these four friends, they play Bunko, but they're really, you know, just 
drinking wine and you know chatting and gossiping and then there's all these wild things that happen among them and in the neighborhood it's really a wild ride and I read this so fast I even gifted this book to a friend of mine because I loved it so much so those are my top five favorite books of all time and some honorable mentions of other books that I also really love and unfortunately didn't make it to the top five. I am actually taking some recommendations right now. So what are your favorite books of all time? I was thinking of maybe stepping into fantasy books a little bit more, you know, books that are, you know, in different worlds, you know? Um, but I don't really know where to start or which ones are the best ones If you have some recommendations for me, please leave them in the comments down below So this is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it If you did, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye